How is it going everyone? Welcome to Comics to YouTube channel. In today's video, we will review Marvel's latest big event, Fantastic Four Reckoning War Alpha Issue 1. Created by Dan Slott, the Reckoning War reignites an ancient cosmic conflict in the Marvel Universe. So if you are new here, a sub to this channel would be highly appreciated and also turn on all the notifications to never miss any future uploads. Please like, comment and share. All the texts and images are owned by its respected company. You can support them by purchasing it digitally or from any offline stores. After War 2, the Watcher got killed by Nick Fury. For his crimes, the other Watchers transformed him into the Unseen, implanted with one of War 2's eyes and forced to observe all events across the galaxies. But the War 2 recently returned to life and proclaimed that a great reckoning was coming. He reclaimed his role as Watcher and rebuilt his home on the moon and transformed Fury into his Herald. Together, they have been attempting to prepare for the coming conflict, which is tied to mysterious high-tech weaponry that has been dispersed throughout the universe. The issue opens up with the homeworld of Badoon, but Nick Fury, also known as the Unsee, finds that someone has been going around the cosmos and supplying high-tech arms to a variety of species, including the Brotherhood of Badoon. After observing that scene, Fury returns to the blue area of Moon and visits War to the Watcher. He informs all the details which he has seen on his mission and tells him that the guys who are supplying those weapons are not Watchers, they call themselves the Reckoning. After hearing his words, War to tries to alert the other Watchers to what has happened and summons them to return home. But just as he alerts the rest of his people, a ship of an individual called Reckoning opens fire on the moon. The sheer impact of that blast completely destroys the moon and turns it into thousand pieces of asteroids. And as a result, the pieces of the moon rain down on the earth and creates a massive destruction all over the place. One giant rock quickly hits towards an old lady, but before it can hit her, Ben Riley, the current Spider-Man of New York City, saves her from that. And soon, all the Avengers, X-Men and Fantastic Four gather all over the Earth to prevent this ongoing threat and protect the people from flaming rocks. John Storm informs the team that someone has blew up the moon. Reed Richards replies that plenty of planets can survive without a moon. He quickly contacts Shuri and Abigail to gather the intel of the current situation. But Abigail informs him that destroying the moon is the first step of an alien invasion. But immediately after she makes that statement, the team looks up in the sky and sees that the Brotherhood of Badoon appears to conquer the Earth. Wearing a high-tech armor and weaponry, the Badoon quickly lands on Earth's surface and starts to terrorize the people. Ben informs his children to move into the Baxter building and protect his mother. But just as a Badoon goon tries to attack Ben from behind, Joe Ven, the Kree child, quickly jumps into action and punches that Badoon goon into the gut. Meanwhile, another Badoon soldier tries to attack Mr. Fantastic, but just as he thinks him as defenseless and tries to shoot him, Susan Storm, the invisible woman, knocks him from his space pod. But just as they analyze the weapons of that Badoon, they realize the weapon has similar technology of Watchers. And as a result, the Fantastic Four quickly take off into the space to find the Watcher. Back on the battlefield, She-Hulk faces the members of the Time Variance Authority. We inform her that for some reason, she is responsible for the terrible thing that's happening to Earth. Until this is over, they will ship the entirety of the TVA into null space.
back on Latveria, Dr. Doom and his Doombots are trying their best to stop the Badoon army. But with the Watcher technology, the Badoon starts to take down the Doombots one by one. Doom realizes the meaning of their attack and leaves victorious to protect their land while he goes to save the very fabric of reality. Back to the space, the Fantastic Four make their way through the asteroids to reach out to the Watcher's house. But just as they try to clear their path, the FF ship get hit by Ray Blast and the attacker is the herald of Watcher, Nick Fury. When Susan decloaks him, Johnny quickly takes him down by force and just as he realizes it is Fury, he brings him to their ship. Dear Fury tells them he is trying to attack the Reckoning but instead he fires at the FF ship. He also informs him that the Reckoning is responsible for the destruction of the move. He and Watu are working on this case but as they started to figure out the whole mess, the Reckoning took them out by destroying the moon. Then Fury points them towards the globe-like structure called Cyclopedia Universum and informs them that it stores the knowledge of all Watchers. Reed then takes the globe and tries to get the details of the unknown invader because this globe is their only chance to gather the information of the past history of the Watchers and the Reckoning. With the help of that globe, Reed sees the origin story of Watchers when they known as the Luminous. They were kind and generous and they shared their vast knowledge to the primitive species and helped them build the civilization. The Reckoning used to be the people of planet Proslicus, who was gifted by the Watchers technology. But the Proslicus used that technology to conquer other planets and made the early universe into the first war. Then every other civilization united against the Proslicus. And on that day, the ultimate weapon of last resort got deployed on the battlefield. And that was the day of reckoning. In the aftermath of that war, Watchers observed the destruction of the cosmos by the hands of reckoning. As a result, they took their oath of non-interference with other species and sealed off the proselytes from the rest of the cosmos behind a great barrier. After gaining the vast knowledge of the Watchers and the Reckoning, Reed gets overwhelmed by its side effects, which makes Reed to gain the knowledge of everything. But behind the barrier, a being who calls himself the Wrath of Reckoning makes his plan to attack the Watchers and everything else in existence, and he is ready to bring them dead. And with the upcoming cosmic battle against the Watchers and the Earth's mightiest heroes, the chapter 1 of Fantastic Four Reckoning War Alpha comes to a close. Which part you like the most, please comment down below. And also please subscribe, as this will motivate me to make more contents. Thank you so much for watching. Everyone stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.